Hello, welcome to today's class. Here we have this question before us here, a very quick one at that. Here the question says solve completely x to the power of log x is 5 equal to 125. So what's the value of x that will satisfy this equation? So let's go into solving without much waste of time. So we take our solution first. Here. Okay, we have a solution. All right, so how do we go about this? I'm going to give you a very quick method of solving this without much waste of time. Don't worry, relax. I'm going to take it step by step this time around. Okay, so let's take uh, the first here. So the first thing we're going to do here is to make a simple substitution here. This expression we have here, now, so we can see here, let, um, let's take care of um, P, okay? Let P be equal to our uh, log X is five. Okay, so we cannot rewrite the original equation. So this now implies that our X to the power of P is equal to one, two, five, easy. We all know that there is a strong relationship between a logarithm and indices. Okay, so let's bring out uh, the expression. So if we have um, an index form of uh, we have a equal to our b to the power of c, we can convert this expression to logarithm. Okay, so this is going to give us here this our log our um, uh, this a sorry log a here then this b. This is equal to C. Okay, so we remember this guy. Okay, so we want to take this to a logarithm form. So for us to write this in logarithm form, it's going to give us here our log. Here we're going to have 125. So log 125, then B is X equal to our P. Good. So from here we look again. So what we do here is easy. Now we know that our p is equal to what? log x base 5. So let's simply bring out um, uh, p into the equation again. So this is going to give us our log our 1, 2, 5, uh, this x, this is equal to our log of um, x, uh, base 5. Let's continue on this side here. Oh, okay. So look at what we have here now. So we are having log. 125 bis x and here log x bis 5. So, yeah, we want to do a change of base here. So, you remember the law again, which says that if you have your log, if you have your, let's say, a bis r b, we can change this to give us our log here. Yeah. We have a bis, let's say, let's assume we're taking it to bis k, then this might be all about log b bis k. Okay? Remember this change of base law, right? So we want to change this to what base are we changing this now? Here we have base five. So let's take it to base five. Okay, we could also change it to a base 10, but because we are having base five here, let's take it to base five. We have something good from here. So if we change it to base five, this is going to give us our design life, our log. Yeah, we we'll have one, two, five, base five, all of our log. Yeah, so we have log. Our x is 5. Everything equal to log x is 5. So, so here we now have some similarity. Okay, so we can cross multiply here. Then send this to this other side. So this is going to give us here log our x is 5. Then times our log our x is 5. Those bracket, this is equal to our log. Now, because we are having this 5 here, so we can rework on this. 125 can be written as 5 to the power of 3. So we have here 5 to the power of 3. Easy. Okay. So now we are having this times this. So we can rewrite this to give us here. Learn our x is 5. R to the power of 2. This is equal to. Now, according to the law of um, a logarithm, which says that if you have your log see your m to the power of a p, okay, let's say this a, say move this to this side. So this will now give us here our p, the log, our m, this a. Okay, we also know this law too. Okay, so we can now move the whole of this to this side. This is going to give us 3 log r5, this 5 here. Okay, so if we have this, this is log 5 this 5. So remember the law again. We say that if you have log a this a, this is equal to 1. 
provided our a is not equal to zero. Again, if we succumb to this law, then this will give us just three. Okay, so this will now be equal to three. Okay, now we can take the square root of both sides. So let's go ahead and take the square root of a both side of the equation is to the power of two square root. Uh, this is equal to square root of three. Dix, dix will leave. And here we introduce our plus minus. So we therefore have our log, our log x base five. This is equal to our plus minus the square root of three. Okay. So from here, we are having two cases from here now. So we have or the first one, let's just take it from here. We have here, we have log x this five. This is equal to positive root three. And we have log x this five is equal to negative root three. But again, look at what we're dealing with. We're dealing with logarithm. So, so long we are dealing with logarithm, so we cannot have negative on this side. So this is out. Okay, so we're going to take only this one. So how do we solve our S from here now? It is easy. We just have to cover from this logarithmic form to our index form again. So let's continue here. So like I said, we said this guy is discarded. So we're taking only this. So how do we now cover this from this logarithmic form to indices? It is easy. All we just have to do is to give us here our x will now be equal to um, our 5 all to the power of square root of 3. So this is the value of our x. But here we want to do a simple check if uh, we put this into this equation, if it will satisfy this equation. So let's go here. Yeah. So um, check. Let's take our check. So here we're going to have our, what is our x here is this. So we have here 5 to the power of square root of 3. They all raised to our log. They have 5 to the power of Square root of 3, the base word 5, this is equal to 1, 2, 5. Now, according to the um, exponent law we just looked at, we can move this here from here to this side. So, if we do that, this is going to give us here our 5 uh, to the power of square root of 3. Then, if this comes to this side, uh, let's manage the space here. So, this is going to give us here our, our 3, square root of 3, then into log 5, this 5, everything equal to 1, 2, 5. Again, remember the law, okay? If we look at here, this is this, well, yeah, so the whole of this will give us what? 1. And so we cannot use this power to multiply this power. And this will give us 5 to the power of root 3 times root 3, which is root 9. So this is going to give us here, this now implies our 5 to the power of 3 all to the power of 2, which is equal to 1, 2, 5. So this we go with this. Okay, so if we have this out, and so we're going to left with 5 to the power of 3, so we have 5 to the power of 3, this is equal to 125. And what is 5 to the power of 3? This is 125. Okay, which is equal to 125. So this shows that our answer, which is x equal to 5 to the uh, power of Square root of 3 is correct, it satisfies the original equation. So if you learned something from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any question with regards to this approach applied here, then drop it in the comment section. I'm going to reply to your comment. Thanks for watching and keep watching online mass TV. We'll meet you in our next class. Keep winning. Remember, I just lost you. Bye now.